morning. It's 20 past five in the morning. And you might be asking yourselves, why is Marianne looking like a crazy woman who's been dragged out of bed? And why is she standing out of the roof of the window of Trudy? That is why. If you come to Cappadocia, you will hear in the morning, you can just see balloons coming everywhere. This is one of the things to see when you come to Cappadocia. And this is what will wake you up every morning. We're Chris and Marianne, and we've been traveling full time for the past three years. We did it! And team to drive Trudy, our home on wheels, all the way around the world. We've arrived back in Cappadocia. You may recognize this place from last year. We've uh, come back to the Gareme Camping and Aqua Park. But today, we're going to a cave hotel, which we didn't manage to stay in one last year. But first, we're heading into town because guess what? We're hungry. And it's lunchtime! <laughs> So I've made an excuse to Marianne just to sneak out of the campsite. I'm walking down to the local shop. I've been scheming because it's her kidneyversary, four years since she donated her kidney. We've booked into the cave hotel here in Gareme. But what I'm secretly trying to do is get an extra night so Marianne doesn't know about it. I emailed my friend Erhan. He contacted the hotel, booked a second night. So that should work. I then messaged him to try and book dinner on the second night, but Marianne saw the email, so then I had to secretly message him and say, send me an email to say it's full. When we wake up in the morning, I'm gonna to say to her, we've got an extra night. We can just chill for one more day. I've forgotten how beautiful Cappadocia is. Look at that for a view. There's horses, you can see all the quad bites going out. This is the time they go early evening. It's still really hot. There's a bit of a heat wave this week. It's uh, about 39 degrees today, uh, but it still cools down to about 19 at night, which is lovely. I also secretly contacted her friend, her best friend, Kate, who's who she donated the kidney to, to see if she would do a little video message for Marianne that I could show her in the hotel as a bit of a surprise. But Marianne's a bit devious with surprises. I've tried them over the years and somehow she always finds out what's going on. If this works, it will be a miracle. You can already tell it's busier than last year. There's loads of ATV groups going out about town. Everybody in Gareme is so friendly. We met so many of these guys last year. How are you? Fine, sir. And you? Very Welcome well. Welcome to Gurama again. Ah, thank you very much. Here comes another ATV group. When you're on the dirt tracks, they make a serious amount of dust. Something to be warned, the face mark is actually good. A tip, if you've got a van or a vehicle in Turkey, and you're going to leave, make sure you check under and around the engine because there's always some of these. There's cats under the van there's mummy and kittens. Kid. And we don't want to reverse or come off the chocks with you there. When we've been feeding the cats, there's a mummy and three kittens and I can only see one kitten. So I'm going to check the engine block. Because sometimes they go inside. Oh my lord. You see, I knew you were in there. That was a good call, Marianne. What are you doing? What are you doing in there? In the engine. This is what we're dealing with. Cuteness overload in my engine. This is All why right. you should always check. Now there's three kittens and that's only one under the van, one in the engine. I can't see anymore. No, I think we're good. Okay, we've got rid of the cats. The cats have gone. Now, We're only, safe to go. There's only We only saw two kittens, but there's a good chance somebody picked one up and took it home because there's lots of people here. We've jumped into Trudy, headed into town, and yet another roasting, baking, 39 degree day here in Cappadocia. Perfect timing for a cave vacation. <laughs> 
Yeah, hopefully they've got aircon. <laughs> We would like to say a massive thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's video and supporting us on our around the world drive. We've been using Surfshark VPN for the past three years. If you don't know what a VPN is, it stands for Virtual Private Network. Basically, it creates an encrypted tunnel keeping you and your data safe while you're online. As full-time digital nomads, we spend a lot of our time online and often use public Wi-Fi. By using Surfshark VPN, we know that we are keeping our data safe. Can you imagine the stress of realizing that your bank account has been hacked when you're thousands of miles away from home? Surfshark VPN is the only VPN company that allows you to use an unlimited number of devices. But there's more to Surfshark than just security. By changing your virtual location, you unlock content that wouldn't normally be available in your area. And the kind people at Surfshark have offered Tread the Globe followers a very special discount. By clicking the link in the description below, you get a whopping 83% discount plus three months free. Back to the show. So we've come down for some lunch. The Kebab Zade restaurant. We came here last year, absolutely amazing stews. And uh, I'm just going to show the front of this restaurant. Look, it was this that gets me excited. You can see like the testy kebab styles with the fire. There's a lovely spot just in town. Trudy's there. She's looking. We should have washed her before we go to a posh hotel. Have you told everyone why we're going to a posh hotel? It's basically Marianne's kidneyversary. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean, love? That means that I gave a kidney to my best friend, Kate, four years ago. Four years ago. <laughs> Happy kidneyversary, Kate. <laughs> and every year we try and do something nice. And uh, so we're going to a cave hotel. Marianne's chosen her favorite dish, the meze. It really is. You get the opportunity to have a little bit of everything and all of them are freshly made and just delicious. <laughs> so we've got like a, a little hummus and uh, this is a spicy esme which is lovely. This is my favourite one. It's a smoked aubergine. It's barbecued, cut up with raw garlic and smoked pepper. The, these are peppers that have been roasted as well. And this, this is a lovely yoghurt. It's got mint dill, and dill and it's delicious with a little bit of olive oil on top. And then it comes with some lovely homemade warm bread. How nice is that? Then we've got some icky kofte. Look at these. I'm going to eat one of these. So these kofte are stuffed with mince meat. Look at that. And it's a mix of beef and lamb and walnuts. A little squeeze of lemon. Oh, very warm. Mm. Crispy on the outside with warm spiced mince inside with a bit of lemon juice is an absolute dream. Oh, chicken casserole. Chicken casserole. That is my favorite. Tabak guvesh. Rice. And some rice. Wow, that's amazing. That's beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Enjoy, nice to have you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Now this is one of my favourites. This is a chicken casserole known as tabuk guvec, which is a casserole in Turkish. And there's beautiful lumps of chicken which are roasted in a wood fire with aubergine and uh, lumps of garlic and really well seasoned, very, very rich. Uh, guvec is popular over here because Avanos, this region, makes the clay pots. We had our first guvec actually here last year um, at Attila's Cave Hotel. He cooked us a real family style one on an open fire and it's just a magical rich thing to eat. I could just smell the garlic and the smoke. that is the ultimate Turkish comfort food. So that was absolutely delicious and was 180 TL. 
So now we're jumping back into Trudy, which is probably very warm, and we are gonna go and find a nice cool cave hotel. So it's literally a three minute drive. Try it. If you need me to see you through. Nice big roads here in Gareme. <laughs> I'm so excited. Not as excited as me. <laughs> wow, look at that view. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, wow. Isn't it? I can't believe it. Oh, it's stunning, isn't it? Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> it's very beautiful. There you go, 207. And apparently this is the old stables. Wow, look at this. We are in a cave. And the temperature has dropped dramatically. Oh, this is nice. Let's leave the bathroom. Toilet, sink. A cave toilet. Shower, and we are literally inside the cave. We're in a cave. I'm Wilma. <laughs> You're Fred. <laughs> Yabba dabba doo. Look at this lovely sink here. Oh, we've got toiletries, back scrubber. We've got soaps, shampoos, there's a hair dryer. It feels funny being in somewhere so big. Bed test. Yep, it's soft. Oh no, this is amazing. What? This desk. <laughs> Attached to it. How cool is that? This tiny house living at its best. I love that. This is my favourite part of the room. This little seating area in here by the front door. Because there's aircon. And he said that everything in the mini bar is free. Okay, open it up. What we got? Two bottles of water. <laughs> nice one. He didn't <laughs> say that, I just thought it'd be funny. <laughs> and we are so hot and sweaty before we have a good look around the hotel. I'm gonna go and jump in a cold, cold shower. So we've been chilling in the room for a couple of hours and enjoying the air con, and we've decided to come out and go for a drink if we can find our way, because it really is literally a little bit of a maze. There is lovely areas, the hotel is amazing. So there is actually a choice of two restaurants and bars and we'll show you both of them because there's two hotels. There's the Sultan Cave Suites, which is where we're staying, and the hotel next door is owned by the same company, and it's called? Kelebek. Kelebek Cave Hotel, which means butterfly in Turkish. It is amazing. Uh, and, and this is why you get lost, because we have to go up this staircase. And the only way I remember is because there are little seating areas, and I think, oh, that cushion would look nice in tree. <laughs> So this is the first stop. This is the uh, the bar area and the roof terrace of the uh, Sultan Cave Suites. And it's got a very nice view. Now we're heading over to the next hotel which is literally just behind here. It's all connected through. The one we're staying at is the Instagram famous one. The one next door is a little bit quieter. Every corner, there is some beautiful view. We can go out this way. And then this is coming through to the other, the other bar. This is the other bar and restaurant here. Still got amazing views. Wow. And how cool is that room there? So this is the other bar. How nice is this little bar restaurant area? Views out the window like that. So to give you some perspective, that is uh, the Sultan Cave Suite Hotel just there. And then you walk around here 
and you end up in this lovely little quiet spot with a bar. This is the best way to end the day with a nice cold beer, obviously good company, oh, and a view like that behind. Should it be? This morning, we should be able to see hot air balloons. It's really early. In fact, it's still dark and uh, we're waiting for the balloons to come by, which should be coming by in the next 40 minutes. <laughs> but we are not the only crazy people up this early. Hi, <laughs> howdy neighbor. Hey, Liam. Liam from Ireland. Hi, I'm Frank from America. Frank from America. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, we're, we're here patiently waiting for the balloons to come sailing past and all of a sudden we've seen some bulbous masses behind the rock structures that are lighting up. Um, it's the balloons and you can just see them. You can just pick up. The, the balloon is actually lifting up with the light um, and the flame that's filling it with hot air. There's one right behind the hotel there and right in the distance over there you can see some more. Whilst the crowds gather here, I've found a spot that I want to take you to. Look what I found. I just went back to Trudy to get a battery. There's Trudy, where she was safely last night. And look what I found. It's now just past five. So we're out on a lower terrace and we're just watching the balloons come up over the stone structures. And you can see them all lighting up um, as they fire up and they're rising. Some of them are way up in the sky up there. We can see the sun rising, it's spectacular. If you ask me where you should visit when you come to Turkey, I would say that if you don't come to Cappadocia, you're missing a trick. Chris is up there on the balcony taking the photograph gold, the Instagram gold photos, uh, but I'm enjoying the quiet down here, it's lovely. amazing was that the sun's just coming up the balloons are behind and Marianne's found a cat <laughs> obviously I found a cat it's a beautiful experience oh look we've got a new one. Oh, there's another cat she's my daughter hello <laughs> and just when you think all the balloons like have gone <laughs> there's one sneaking up there I think it's trying to hide it doesn't want anyone to know that it's there it's but it's balloon. it's a stealth balloon but it's definitely there but look at this now it's a glorious glorious morning the sun's come up balloons all the way around chris and i counted about 55 balloons that we could count And I have a little surprise for you. <laughs> what are you doing? 
Press play. <laughs> Happy kid anniversary. You can't surprise me. You're, never <laughs> good. You're not very good at lying normally. What's going on? You have a message from Kate. Believe it or not, it's just gone seven on a Sunday morning. And instead of not being able to leave my bed, I'm out here walking with my gorgeous puppy, the one that I've always wanted, but could never have because I wasn't ever fit enough. Can't believe it's been four years already. I just, my life has changed so much. And I, there's nothing I could ever say that would let you know how desperately grateful and you know how much I care and love you guys and it's amazing it really is amazing uh, I just want to say happy four year kidneyversary got you did you know you did you know she said that no I didn't know <laughs> there you go and the other surprise is we're booked in tonight as well you're joking <laughs> I'm not did you really? know did I didn't you... know <laughs> what we've got another night here yeah I didn't know. I arranged it days ago and the balloon ride's picking us up from here. You're joking. <laughs> no. How are you lying to me? <laughs> Did you not know? No, I didn't know. There you Thanks, go. Baby. So we don't have to check out. After all that, it worked. And what's funny is Marianne's already packed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased. Got you. Thank you. So this morning we wanted to give you a quick little walk round of the hotel complex. And uh, and now we're staying an extra night, there's no hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, before it gets too hot, just to show you how amazing this place is. Apparently, this hotel actually used to be um, a village and it was all made up of lots of little homes um, and is now converted into uh, a number of hotels. Yeah, and each, each house would, has become a little suite. I just love all these little corridors and each one reveals another little seating area. You can see how it would have been a village with all these different houses down here and you can see remnants of the old, really old structures here. These stone caves. This is the pool from the neighbouring hotel which you're allowed to come and swim in. And these are the guys that we watched the sun come up this morning. How are you? Good. They're from the Philippines, enjoying the holiday here in Turkey. You having a good time? Amazing. Amazing. With Amazing. views like that, look. <laughs> and looking at the view over here, Cappadocia, Gareme, this area is just such a picturesque place. It's unbelievable. Just look at this. But there's lovely little flowers and ornaments literally everywhere. It's just an absolutely stunning hotel location.